Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Royal Caribbean cruise expert. So today, I'm on board the beautiful Independence of the Seas. Now this incredible Freedom class ship got an amazing renovation just a couple years ago. You'll see all the updates throughout the ship, especially if you've been on board before. Now at Hard Travel, we are your Royal Caribbean experts. We know all the spaces inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with Royal, and we know that we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value. Now we're gonna tour every single public space here on board the ship. We also have all the rooms and suites on our channel as well if you wanna check those out. So you can pick the perfect one for you and your family. Now I've started up here at the very top part of the ship with a pool deck down below. They just cranked up the Caribbean music. When I hear Bob Marley, a little bit of that steel drum, I know that I'm on vacation and I know it even more when I'm on Royal Caribbean. It, is, it has the Caribbean in the name, therefore they do Caribbean better than anybody else. They have more capacity, more ships, they visit more destinations and do an amazing job. Now, once again, we're gonna go through every single space, so follow me as we head on down and check out this incredible ship. Now, one of the biggest parts of the renovation was adding and doubling down on Splash Away Bay. Royal Caribbean is such an incredible cruise line for families. This is just one reason why. My daughter, my niece and nephew love the water slides. They've added quite a few that are for the littler kids. Of course, in the very back of the ship, they've got the big water slides. We'll take you there in just a bit. So you've got a toddler's pool down there. It's only about two feet or so. Uh, so it's a small pool. You've got all the different water guns, the hot tubs, all of the water slides behind me here. It's a huge amount of space dedicated to the littler kids, which I think is great because it also opens up more space for the adults and the older kids at the other pools. So on the Freedom class ships, you've got this bridge that crosses over. And as soon as we cross over, you'll see that large LED screen. That was something they added on later. You can watch first run movies in the evening. They'll use it throughout the day to watch sporting events, different movies, games, and also talk about things that are going on around the ship. Now, as we head further forward, you can see more of the main pool deck. So you've got two large pools down here. You've got several hot tubs as well. So you've got the shaded hot tubs over here, the over open hot tubs down there. That one was actually added in. And what I love is right in the middle, you're gonna have a nice large space. That turns into a dance floor to go along with the band. Once again, the bland pin, that Caribbean music, that steel drum, it makes me so incredibly happy. I know I'm on vacation. Now up here on deck 12, you've got all kinds of seating areas. So you've got the different loungers, you've got them on both sides. So you have them against the, uh, the railing there so you can look out at the incredible ocean views. You also have them over here as well where you can get the sun. Now down below, you've got that wrapped all the way around as well. And then you also have loungers underneath me, which is in a shaded area. You're gonna see the stadium style seating over on the far side there. Great for people watching and getting sun or for a movie. So it's a great place to grab for movie time. You also can see the Sky Lounge bar up on the top and just above it is where we started this tour. So that's another dynamic seating area. You also have the pool bar. They're gonna provide service to all the lounge chairs around here. So whether you get the beverage package or you buy them a la carte, they're gonna have plenty of options and they'll keep them flowing for you. So once again, you've got a huge pool deck here. It's separated for the smaller kids, everybody else here. And then of course, we can find some secret ice cream. Those of you who know me know how much I love ice cream. Soft serve here on board the deck. You got sprinkles, it's complimentary. It enhances every cruise experience a hundred times over. How's it going? Awesome. I'm good, you know what, he knew me. He already has it ready, let's do it. We're gonna do some chocolate today. Cheers to all the ice cream lovers out there. I'm gonna need a break because I'm finishing this. Just behind me on the pool deck, you're gonna find fish and chips. So this is a classic UK fish and chips joint. They've got different things like fried shrimp, fish and chips, of course. The lobster rolls, absolutely delicious. Battered sausage. Now this ship spent an enormous amount of time in the UK. It was replaced by the Anthem, but this was really where it was home ported for a long time. So a little bit of tribute to that. Now my grandma and I love fish and chips. She was a bit of an Anglophile. We had it for lunch every single week. So every time I walk by there, I think of her. Now, as we've headed further forward, you've probably noticed a change in the volume. So up in the forward part, you have a third pool zone. This is for adults only. This is more about rest, relaxation. You've got a nice large pool there in the middle. You've got the bridge that heads up and over and some really cool sculptures and seating areas. So in this area, you're gonna find those extra padded loungers. They're really comfy. And then you also have quite a bit of shade. In fact, we'll head down there and check it out in just a second. 
So now we're in the solarium. It's 16 plus, as I mentioned. Right behind me is the solarium bar. Once again, this is really an adults only area. They've got a great bar. They're gonna provide bar service throughout the entire area. You can see the bridge and you've got a pool on either side. And I love that they actually have bar stools in there underneath the bridge so you can sit in and have a drink. They have all these different seating zones here. So you can see the Adirondack chairs that are up here. Lots and lots of comfortable padded loungers. Now on either side, you're gonna have the cantilevered hot tubs. Those debuted on the Freedom of the Seas. They were a brand new concept in the industry. They're off the side of the ship. What that did is that allowed them to put a lot more seating area in here. On the previous versions of these ships, the solarium uh, hot tub was right here. It was absolutely massive. So now it's opened up and provided a significant more amount of space. You're also going to have showers on either side. So you can take a shower before and after you use the pool or jacuzzi. Now, just behind me is the Flow Rider. This is one of those classic complimentary Royal Caribbean items that they have here on board. It's a lot of fun. You could go surfing, you could go boogie boarding. Taylor does love to surf on here quite often. I'm more of a boogie boarder myself. They debuted on the Freedom of the Seas, and ever since then, they've been adding into the ships. They've been an absolutely huge hit. Next up is the Perfect Storm Water Slides. So you're gonna have two of them. You've got Cyclone and Typhoon. This area actually used to be a rollerblading rink way back when. During the massive renovation, they added that on. So you can see the water slides up above. They actually extend off the side of the ship. You've got this huge tower that they added on right here. Now I wanted to point out that you do need to sign the waivers before you do any of these activities. So if the kiddos are minors, parents need to come, get all that taken care of. And there's also some height and weight requirements. Check it out because it's an absolute blast. Now, just above me, you're gonna see the sky pad. It is an incredible option. It does come at an additional cost, but it's virtual reality. What you have is a series of trampolines and pulleys in there. So you jump up and it, pretend that you're basically on Mars. So it's an out of this world experience, both literally and figuratively. Once again, it's immensely popular. It's an awesome activity that you can take part in. Now, just on the other side of that, they also added in a couple great options that are complimentary for the kiddos. You've got the climbing area where you can try to get all the way to the top. It is enclosed with a net for safety. Very similar to what they have on some of the Ultimate Family Suites on the bigger ships. We have those on our channel too, if you'd like to check that out. They're also put in all kinds of swings. Now I'm gonna head in to the basketball court. Now growing up, my dad was a basketball coach, one of the winningest in California state history. We always had to practice our free throws. We loved playing in all the events. Three on three basketball, dodgeball, soccer, you name it, we spent time on this court. Let's see if I've still got it. If I can make him proud. Nah, that's the first shot. Let's get one more. Nope. All right, well, if I can't make a free throw, let's check and see if the bank's open. Nope, that's not open either. All right, well, I guess it's just gonna be one of them days. That go in? Now, just behind me is the rock climbing wall. It is absolutely massive. There's several different routes that you can take. Some are a little more difficult than others. Now, the idea is to get all the way to the top and ring the bell. And you can have competitions with family. I always did that with my brother, but it's another complimentary activity. You'll see the theme here. Royal has so much included for your family vacation, and there truly is something for everyone. Now, forward on deck 13, you'll see one of the biggest transformations from the renovation of this ship. The whole space used to be a sun deck. Now it's still mostly a sun deck. I love the idea that you have a ton of loungers spread out here. They have the glass partitions to protect from all the wind. This is that fantastic place to be if you want some sun. Now they've also repurposed it as Independence Dune. So we're gonna get over to the golf course in just a second, but I love when they did the renovation, they added different furniture in here. So you have these great day beds, and then they also have what I'm gonna call a car wash shower. It's got a massive rainforest shower head up above, so you can cool off before, during, after miniature golf, I think. Now, if you're using it as a sun deck, it's a really nice amenity. They also added in this great seating area here, so you've got some out of the weather, out of the sun but you know what I'm here for. I'm gonna play a little bit of miniature golf. Now, miniature golf is something that's a staple on Royal Caribbean cruises. What I love about it is it's a complimentary activity. It's good for every member of the family. On our last cruise, my daughter, my niece, my nephew, we were up here all the time playing miniature golf and it's virtually open 24 seven. All right, let's see if I've got it today. I think I might need one slightly larger than that, but eh, doesn't really matter. I guess I'll go with my daughter's size as a tribute to her. All right, where are we going? Okay, so we've got the hole over there. This, this is a par three? All right, well, let's let's give it a shot. Okay. 
You know, I'm, I'm, I'm cutting the corner here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, old school. Uh, 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 okay. All right, let's see. Let's see if the birdie's tweeting. Okay. Look at that, it's a birdie. I should probably stop or should I, yeah, I'll play one more hole just for fun. This is a nine hole course. It wraps all the way around and then continues along. And what you're gonna see here is lots and lots of cool decor. This was completely created from a sun deck during the renovation. You can see all the different porpoises. I found my porpoise in life, I think. He's right there. But anyway, you've got the lighthouse, you've got the seagulls, you've got all kinds of fun here. And then they also have the different things that you go through. Every kid loves that on a miniature golf course. All right, so this is a par two. Let's see here. Yeah, no, that was not my best work, but eh, eh, eh. if only the ship was moving, it would roll right back in. All right, let's see. Mm-hmm. Look at that, after two holes, still one under. I'm gonna call it a day. See you later, Scuttle. Nice to see you again. Next up, we're gonna check out the Kids Club here on board. Royal Caribbean is a family-focused cruise line, which means they've dedicated a ton of space, time, energy, and staffing to every single member of the family. Now, the Kids Club is going to be segmented into different age groups with age-appropriate activities, and it's the crew members that really make all the difference. Just like throughout the entire ship, the crew here loves what they do. They have a background in child development. They all are trained in child safety, CPR, and first aid. So you know that your kids are in great hands here. Now, I started the Adventure Ocean program myself way back when I was about eight years old on the original Nordic Empress, which became the Empress of the Sea. That was my first Royal Caribbean cruise. My brother and I were hooked. We found out for the first time they had complimentary room service. That was all we needed to know. The kids club was just a bonus. So now we're gonna go through the different spaces and talk about them and show you what they're all about. Now we're inside Royal Babies and Tots. This is where you can drop off six month olds to 36 month olds and they can spend time in here. Now, the staff in here does an incredible job. It's basically like a group of Mary Poppins style nannies. They can put the kids down for a nap. They can feed them, change them, do just about anything that you would need. Now they've got a nap room in the corner. They've got strollers where they can push them back and forth, rocking chairs. Of course, they have movie time over here. You can see the rocker right there. And in those lockers, you're gonna find all kinds of different toys and activities for the kiddos. They also have the wall over there where the littlest ones can play and have a great time. Now, I know when my daughter was little, it was such a treat for my wife and I to be able to go out to dinner and have a great time. So my daughter would come here, we'd head out maybe to Chops or Giovanni's, have an amazing dinner. Well, who am I kidding? We went to Azumi's every single time because I love that. And then we'd come back, we'd pick her up and everybody would be happy. So now we're headed into the Aquanaut space. This is dedicated to the three to five-year-olds. My daughter loved it here on board. Now I wanted to point out the check-in station. You also have these safety measures where the kiddos can't head out themselves. And so it's really important the very first day on board that you head up here, you check your kids in, and you make sure and let them know what adults can check them in and out. When I travel with my parents, we always add them to the list. So if my wife and I are having dinner, they can come up and pick her up, drop her off, or maybe even some close friends and family. Now there is a enormous amount of space. You're gonna find a lot of arts and crafts happening here. My daughter loved the model magic that they got to do, kind of make their own clay and models. She also loved all the coloring and every night she'd come back with something new and exciting from the arts and crafts world. They also do science and all kinds of different educational and fun activities. You can't forget Gaga Ball either. Now all along here, they'll set up different stations for video games and things along those lines. Now we're gonna head further back to the Explorer. So this is gonna be the six to eight year olds. So now we're heading into the Explorers area. You're gonna see all the different video game consoles and options over here. You've got tables over here for arts and crafts. It's a phenomenal amount of space. I also love that they have the huge dance floor over here so they can do dance parties. It's all about having fun, having some entertainment and staying safe. Now they've got the basketball court over there. They'll do activities that are more physical for some kiddos, things that are more arts, right brain, left brain. They're gonna do different types of activities. Now I was an educator for over 10 years as a middle school teacher. I've actually taught at every single grade level K to 12. And what I know is if the kids are engaged, they're having a good time, every member of the family is going to enjoy their time on board. It's been that way for my family and even me as a child. Now, Challenger's Arcade is a huge amount of space here on board, and it's perfect for kids or those who love video games. I've been known to spend a bit of time in here as well. 
They've got all kinds of different claw games. They've got all of your favorite classics, ski ball, racing games. As we kind of walk through here, you can see some of those. They have Guitar Hero, which is a blast as well. And then as we head further in, one of my all time favorites, Golden Tee. So they've got some old school games and of course some of the newer styles of technology. Now these do come at an additional cost, so it's important that you have that discussion with your kiddos. You can set a budget for them if you would like. So you can see the ski ball here, they've got bowling, basketball, some new virtual reality style games. Can't wait to come back and play some Ghostbusters. And then as we continue on back, they've got air hockey. You see more of the racing games here. I do love the Plucky Ducky. It's one of my all time favorite games because you get to keep going until you get one. So trying to have a five-year-old understand a claw game, it's uh, much easier with this. Further back, you can see more of the air hockey. You got some more ski ball. Once again, this is for the young and the young at heart. All right, just next to the Challengers Video Arcade is the living room. This is the teen fun and game area. So it's not quite open yet today, but they've got a full bar where they can do mocktails. They have a lot of lounge space and a full dance floor, basically making sure that the teens have that same experience where they are blown away by all the fun, meeting new people, and of course, being engaged at all times. So now we're inside Johnny Rockets. It's a specialty restaurant here on board. It's a classic 50s diners. You see the jukeboxes, you see the bar here. It's like a soda fountain and they make delicious burgers. In fact, I've had a few hundred smokehouse burgers in my, uh, my day. Another couple things that I love is their french fries and of course the onion rings that they bring out to you at the very beginning and that apple pie a la mode with Tillamook cheese on top, just the way my grandma made it. Now, Johnny Rockets debuted on the Voyager of the Seas. It's been a huge hit, and it's been on all the ships after for the most part, except for those that are in different parts of the world. Located just after Johnny Rockets, you're gonna find another Adventure Ocean Center. This is Fuel, another space dedicated to the teens. You get a lot of teens on board Royal Caribbean, and of course, they're usually the hardest to please. I was a middle school teacher for a long time, and I know that for a fact, but I love that they've dedicated so much space, time, and energy to make sure that they have an incredible time, which means everyone on the ship's gonna have an incredible time, including the families. Next up is the Windjammer Buffet, Giovanni's Table, and Chops. Now, as we head in, you see all the hand washing stations. That is critical on a cruise. It's critical anywhere in life. So please make sure that you wash your hands, do the whole happy birthday song, and don't speed it up like my five-year-old does. So as we head in, you're gonna see the updated decor. Now, when they renovated this ship, they did a spectacular job. It's absolutely beautiful. The first space that you'll encounter is actually a dining space with a large bar. So they have a full bar there. I always stop by to get my coffee and fresh squeezed orange juice before I head further into the Windjammer Buffet. Now we're gonna head all the way around and then we'll come back and do the specialty restaurants with you. So what you're gonna find is a classic buffet setup. Now my high recommendation, especially on boarding day, is to head all the way to the back. Not only do you get incredible views, but a lot of people grab the food and then they stay right here up front. So you're gonna generally find quite a bit more open seating further to the back. Now the first station here, you're gonna see you've got the plates and of course all of the cutlery. You've got, looks like Caesar salad, Greek salad. So they're gonna have grab and go items. This is really the hot food area, the first one. Once again, there's a lot of redundancies. So you've got chicken today, Looks like heart honey garlic roasted chicken. Hmm, I'll be back in just a few minutes. You've got the, the spicy black bean stew, and then you've got different styles of fruit and antipasta items. Now you're gonna have beverage stations throughout where they have complimentary coffees, teas, hot chocolates. Usually during the morning, they're gonna have orange juice, apple juice, things along those lines. And then later on through the day, it's going to evolve and have lemonade, iced tea, and then that'll continue through lunch and into dinner. Now, one of the great things about the design of this ship is that it's really nice and wide and there is a ton of big glass windows where you can have incredible views. So this is the next station here. This is a Mediterranean station and salad bar. So you can see different salads ready to go for you. You've got different kinds of charcuterie, meats and cheeses, pre-prepared sandwiches. They're gonna have a carving station. Looks like they're gonna have roast beef here in just a few minutes. And then you've got vegetable caponata, more of what you had earlier on. Now, once you get to the back, it really, really opens up. So you're gonna have beverage stations on either side where you can grab your drinks. All of those are complimentary. Of course, they do provide full bar service in here as well. So from the waiters coming around, the sommeliers, you can order wine, you can order beer, or different mixed drinks. Now, when you get to the back, I like that they have separate stations. So this is the meat carver. You can see that absolutely huge steamship of beef. It looks delectable. In fact, 
my mouth is watering now, I'm ready to come back and have some food. And then as we head around to the other time, other side, this is Taylor and I's favorite station. They do an incredible job with Indian food. Of course, you have a lot of Indian chefs on board Royal Caribbean and all cruise ships, so they have a nice wide variety of Indian food. You, today we've got butter chicken, chana masala, uh, papadam, my daughter is absolutely in love with that. You've got roti and then stir fried vegetables, dal and steamed rice. So if you love Indian food, you're sure to really enjoy it here on board. Now in the middle is the most important station. You've got cookies and pies and all kinds of delicious desserts. I've been known to stop by here one, two, three, 15 times throughout a cruise, you know? Um, and I love the idea that they always have a great welcome aboard special. You see this incredible rainbow cake. They're gonna deliver that down to my suite in just a few minutes so I can dig into it. Actually, I think it would take me a few months to eat that, but it looks delicious. Now on the other side, you're gonna have similarities. So you have more Indian food here, they'll mix it up. Sometimes you'll have Chinese food, different Asian varieties. And then of course, my favorite Italian food. So right down the middle, you're gonna find your favorite. So you have American hot dogs, hamburgers. They've got the grills back there. They're cooking them up right now. You've got French fries, different kinds of rolls from the bakery. Over here, you've got grilled salmon and chicken. They have uh, chili con carne today, guacamole, and a full Mexican station. So what you can see is you can dine from the flavors all around the world. It's a really nice option because it's grab and go. It's really quick. You can head out with your family and really start to enjoy the day. Now I did wanna take you a little further back here because there's a ton of seating in the very back and it's the best seating. It's absolutely beautiful looking out the aft and the side of the ship. When they designed this specific ship, they bowed the glass out so you get some incredible views. You've got booth style seating, tables for two, four, or larger ones as well. And you just decide where you wanna sit. They're gonna bring the drinks to you. They'll come to you and provide that service. But my favorite place, like I said, on boarding day, you're gonna see me grab some food. I'm gonna head all the way to the very back of the ship. Enjoy those incredible views. And you'll probably see me start my day here as well, unless I'm in a suite, and then I'm heading to Chops for that incredible sweet breakfast. Right off to the side of the entrance of the Windjammer, you're gonna find Chops Grill. Now, Chops is an unapologetic steakhouse. You're gonna find me in here having a bone-in ribeye. It's absolutely delicious. They have all your favorite cuts of beef, all your favorite sides. I love those Gruyere tots, in addition to the asparagus, the cream spinach, anything that you like, you're sure to find at a steakhouse, you'll find here on board. Definitely wanna try out those jumbo shrimp, and of course, Ooh, I love me some bacon. Well, anyway, pork belly. But as I walk through the space, you can see that it really does look like a steakhouse. And I love the idea that they have the open kitchen concept. As soon as you walk in, you get that intoxicating smell. It smells absolutely delicious and gets you ready to dine. Now, I also wanted to point out that if you're staying in a suite here on board, one of those full suites, or you happen to be a Pinnacle member, first off, congratulations on that, but you can dine in here for breakfast every single day and it's a highly elevated experience. Now let's walk through the space. I mentioned the kitchen. There's the open kitchen right here. And then you'll see there's quite a few different styles of seating, two tops, four tops, and larger tables as well. Now it's a really large restaurant. It continues all the way to the back. You are gonna have tables all along the window. I always love those for breakfast in the morning. In the evening, it doesn't really make a huge difference to me because it's usually dark outside. Now, as I walk through, you're gonna have a huge wine cupboard. Of course, the sommelier can help you pair that perfect wine with your ribeye. I've tried quite a few and they've all been really, really good. And then as we continue through, you're gonna see you have booth style seating, some corner booths. You can request those if you'd like, and they can put the tables together for larger groups all the way up to 12 or 14. Now, the other specialty restaurant that you'll find in the entryway of the Windjammer is Giovanni's Table. Now, every all-inclusive, every cruise ship in the world has Italian because everybody loves Italian food. So they're gonna have all of your favorites from the great antipastos and starters, all the way through the handmade pasta and risottos that are delicious. And you can top it off with some tiramisu. Now, as we walk through the space, you can see it's kind of that rustic Italian style look. The kitchen is open, it's closed up right now, but it's an open style kitchen. So once again, you walk in, you get all of those incredible smells. You're gonna have the booth style seating. These are tables for four. They can put it together for larger family groups. And once again, you get an incredible amount of sunlight and it's really, really beautiful. So Chops and Giovanni's oftentimes has lunch options for you, especially on sea days and sometimes on boarding days. And what I really like about that is it's a little bit of a pared down menu. It costs a little bit less. So if you wanna give it a try, maybe you start with lunch, 
The only problem is you're gonna want it for dinner right after that. But once again, they have a wide variety of wines. They can help you pair that with your favorite dishes. And if your family loves Italian, you're gonna love Giovanni's. Now, one of Royal Caribbean's signatures, and you can recognize their ships from far away, is the Viking Crown Lounge. It's been that way for decades, and it's always a phenomenal space on board. Now, here on board the Independence, we're in Olive or Twist, which is the lounge style area up here. So you're gonna have a full bar. I'll take you over there in just a second, but I'm standing right here on the dance floor. So this is the disco nightclub here on board. They do all kinds of different events. I love the veterans event that they do here each and every single cruise. I always do my very best to attend and it's wonderful to meet fellow veterans as well. Now here, like I said, you've got the disco ball. One of the things that's really cool is on some nights, they'll actually do a teen club here earlier in the evening before it turns into an adults only nightclub so they can get that experience as well. You've got the DJ booth over in the corner. You can see the lounge style seating all the way around the dance floor. And we're gonna head further in. Now, the signature of this is, of course, the huge floor to ceiling windows. Those are the things that you can see from far away. So there's all kinds of styles of seating. You've got bar style seating, look out the windows there. You've got some high top pub style seating. And then you also have couches and love seats on the far side. So this wraps all the way around, looking down at the pool deck and then also off the side of the ship. So the full bar is here. It's always a very popular bar with each iteration of the ships. They've made it larger. So the Independence is quite a bit larger than you're gonna find on the Voyager class ships. Now, as I continue along, like I said, you have all styles of seating. You've got more chairs and tables up here for lounge style seating. They'll do trivia in here. They'll do all kinds of activities. It's one of those dynamic entertainment zones on board. And you better believe that you're gonna find me up here at least once or twice, having a great dance, maybe an Oliver Twist, Martini, who knows? Opposite of the Sweet Lounge and the Viking Crown, you will find the Diamond Club. Now, I love that they've put it in here. It's absolutely stunning with the floor to ceiling windows. You have a fantastic outdoor space as well. On some of the ships, that's been moved down to more of an interior style lounge. So what you're gonna find in here, if you're a Diamond, Diamond Plus, or Pinnacle member, you can utilize this space you're gonna have the concierge. Now that is the best perk. They can make reservations for you. They can answer your questions. I've had so many incredible concierges over the years. A huge shout out to Mario and Willie. Those are two of my all time favorites that have kept me entertained, smiling and laughing. And of course, kept those drinks flowing. They have all the different dining menus in here as well, if you'd like to choose from those. And you have a ton of lounge style seating. So you've got tables against the window. You've got tables and chairs here, cocktail style, where they can move them around for you. And then of course, you've got a television there. It's a great place to catch a game. And then behind it, you're gonna find a variety of food. Now this is gonna change throughout the day. In the morning, you'll have grab and go continental breakfast. They'll have for lunch, like you see now, they have some sandwiches. They'll have appetizers before dinner. In fact, I've been known to eat my weight in the chicken wings, pigs in a blanket, all of those fantastic options there. And then another thing that I love is the coffee maker. Now the coffee maker is complimentary. You're gonna have espresso, you can make an Americano, a latte, whatever it is that you like. Once again, you can come up here just about any time. It's one of those great features of being on the high levels of loyalty. You also have a variety of teas that you can grab and go anytime that you would like. Now, as we continue through the lounge space, You've got some more seating areas. Over here, they've got a larger sofa with chairs as well. And then of course, you've got the hand washing station that you can utilize. Now, what I love more than anything about this particular Diamond Lounge is that you have a phenomenal outdoor space as well. So outside, you're gonna find tables for two and four. But what I love is you get that incredible ocean breeze. You can take advantage of the complimentary happy hour, bring a drink out here, maybe even have continental breakfast with a coffee out here as well. I've been known to grab a coffee, come out and work. This is a great space for that. Now, as we continue further into the space, you're gonna see that they have tables and chairs that also look over the sport court where you can see the sky pad and all of the other activities. So if you wanna do a little people watching, you can head up here. Maybe one of your kids or family members are playing in one of the games, a three on three basketball tournament, dodgeball, soccer, whatever it is, you can sit up here and be part of it. It's also a great place to catch a glimpse of the rock climbing wall. Once again, if you're a Diamond member or higher, you can utilize this space at no additional cost. Now, right above the Viking Crown Lounge on deck 15, you're gonna find the Puzzle Break Center. So this is one of those classic escape room style events that you can take advantage of either your own small group or a larger group as well. Now that used to be a wedding chapel and now you put couples in there and try to get them to break out, you never know what's gonna happen. 
So now we're heading into the spa. Now they have a wide variety of treatments from massages, facials, a full salon. They also have a full Medi Spa and acupuncture here on board. Now my high recommendation is that you either pre-book or you do it as soon as you get on board because the most popular times, especially those days at sea, will fill up really quickly. Now this is the reception area. You'll head up here, they can answer all your questions. It's also where you're gonna check in before you head to your spa treatment. Now we're gonna continue along. I just wanted to point out that you do have a stairway right here that will head down to the fitness center. And then I just wanted to show you all of the different retail options. There's a ton of different spa and beauty retail options here on board. Once again, it's duty free, so you can take advantage of those discounted prices. Now we're gonna start off in the salon. Now it's a full salon here. You can see you have manicure stations all the way across. You're gonna have the salon stations where you can get your hair done. There's two here, two over on the far side. They can do all kinds of different cuts for men and women. Maybe you want a revolutionary new hairstyle, or you just wanna get ready to head out for an incredible night on the ship. They, of course, can accommodate that. Keep in mind the formal nights do fill up first because a lot of people wanna come and get made up for that. So you can have some incredible pictures and make those memories. Now on this side, you're gonna have the pedicure station. There's actually three here, and I love that they have the huge bowls, even big enough for my gigantic feet. But once again, if you love a salon experience, you're gonna have a great time here at the Independence Day Spa. Now I'm gonna head through the door here to show you a bit more of the spa. So these are all the treatment rooms. We'll show you one in just a minute. So you have them wrapped all the way around. But what I actually wanted to take you to first is the relaxation room. So when you check in for your spa treatment, they're gonna give you a robe and you're gonna go and change in the locker rooms and then you can head in here. They're gonna give you a little bit of paperwork so that your therapist can get to know you, the things that you like, maybe something that you don't like, and they can provide the best possible experience. The idea here is to get in that Zen mindset so you can have the best possible treatment. They're gonna have infused waters, teas, and things along those lines. You can sit here before and after your treatment. So now we're inside one of the treatment rooms just to show you a little bit of what it's all about. This is where you're gonna get your massage, your facial, whatever treatment that you have chosen. Now my personal favorite is the hot stone massage. I also love the deep tissue or the bamboo massage. You decide what's best for you. Now you can see the massage table here. They've got the sink in the corner. And those of you who've had a massage with Royal Caribbean know this sound. It means that it's over or you just gotta book another one, that's all. But I love the idea of coming on vacation to relax and what is more relaxing and rejuvenating than a spa treatment. Now I wanted to take you into one of the couples treatment rooms so you can see that you can have a couples massage here. My wife and I love that with my daughters at the kids club. We can come up here, have a nice relaxing time together and really enjoy it. Now you can get basically any of the spa treatments in here. So you can get two separate ones or you can each get the same. It's customizable based on the couple and exactly what you want. To me, vacation is all about getting what you want, when you want, and having a nice relaxing time. This is absolutely perfect for that. Now just down the beautiful glass stairway from the spa, you're gonna find the gymnasium. Now the first stop is the changing rooms. And one thing that's really great is they're gonna have sauna and steam rooms in there that are complimentary. So they have ladies and gents separated. And I did wanna point out this cool sculpture here. When the ship was built, there was actually a large boxing ring right in the middle. And that space was actually right here. So now they've opened it up and they've made it into more of an aerobics studio. So you can see in here, you can do all kinds of different classes from spin classes to any type of aerobic step activity, yoga, things along those lines. Now, if you are interested, you're gonna wanna do that right when you get on board. You wanna sign up for some of those classes. Some of them will fill up. Now, as we continue into the space, we're into the main gym portion. So you have a ton of equipment. You've got all kinds of cardio equipment. You've got the treadmills lining the very front of the ship with the incredible views. And then you have a huge amount of, cir of circuit equipment. So you can do all kinds of different circuit workouts. You've got legs, arms, abs. But generally I tend to work on my abs in the restaurants here. I understand that some people really spend a lot of time here. I mean, if you use the gym at home or you aspire to, what better place to do it than on vacation? Now you're gonna have elliptical machines, you have rowing machines, you have several different styles of bikes. And once again, you can see more and more of that circuit equipment. 
They have just about every single style possible. Now you're also gonna have the free weights over in the corner. So you've got the, the barbells and the dumbbells over there, Smith machine. Once again, if you're looking for aerobic exercise or any type of circuit or free weight, they're gonna have it here on the Independence to enhance your vacation. Now when the Voyager class of ships was introduced, there were several first. These incredible huge glass elevators that go all the way to the top and down. And then of course, the Royal Promenade. Now I'm gonna take you there in just a minute, but before we do, I wanted to point out, you have the champagne bar on one side. It's a great social gathering spot. You've got the full bar, bar service as well. You've got the beautiful decor over there with the nice lounge style seating, tables for two, four, and also those really nice high chairs as well. On the other side, you're gonna find the guest services desk. Now this is the purser's desk where they can assist with just about anything related to money, questions about your room, even upgrades and things like that if it's possible. Now, one of the high recommendations that I have is that you use this space during the middle of the cruise. The very first day, the very last day, it does get quite a bit more crowded because the people have a lot of questions. So it's just to your advantage if you can get it done mid-cruise. And then you also have the shore excursions desk. Now you're always gonna to wanna to book your shore excursions before you get on board, but if you have any questions, you wanna book something last minute, they can definitely accommodate you here and answer those questions for you. Now we're gonna head down the Royal Promenade. This was introduced on the Voyager of the Seas. There's five Voyager class ships, and then you have the Freedom class ships, which are larger. So it's kind of Voyager Plus, and if you would expect, they expanded the space because it's been such a hit. Let's head down. Now, something that's very unique about the design of this ship is when you have these huge open spaces, it is a ship, so they have to have all of those safety features. You're gonna have watertight doors that can close off the entire promenade here and down the middle. Now, what you're gonna see immediately are these promenade staterooms. So these are interior staterooms, there's three levels of them, and they actually look down on the promenade, so they're a bit of an upgrade. We've got those on our channel if you wanna check it out. Of course, you can always book your cruise with hard travel, that's what we do. We have the interiors, and we also have the larger family interiors as well for you to check out. Now, the promenade is meant to be like a city street, and it really does look like that. They have some open areas here down below. We'll take you down there in just a bit. Wanted to point out the next cruise desk first. So this is where you can book your next cruise while here on board. You're always gonna get the best pricing that way. And as your travel advisor, if we booked your cruise, you're, we're gonna be able to take care of all the details when you get home. If we didn't book the first cruise, of course you can have hard travel take on that cruise if you'd like. Just let us know before you go and we can explain the details to you. Now on the other side, you're gonna have the collection. This is where you're gonna find all kinds of different Royal Caribbean logo wear. You'll also have different clothing items. Now, one of the reasons why people buy items on board is the duty-free pricing. So all the shopping here, as soon as they set sail out to sea, there are no taxes when you're on international waters. So oftentimes you can get better prices than you can at home. Let's continue down the promenade. Next up is the Cafe Promenade and Espresso. So this is where you can get your morning coffee. I love the partnership with Ely Coffee. It's one of my all time favorites. I have it all the time at home and I love that I can have that here as well. They're gonna have a variety of grab and go items like sandwiches. They might have in the morning pastries and things like that, fruits that are ready to, ready to go. And you can come in here and grab a quick breakfast. You can dine here. And then throughout the day, they're going to add sandwiches and different items as well. Now on the Voyager class ships that had combined with Sorrento's Pizzeria, they separated it out to give quite a bit more space here. I just had my coffee a few minutes ago and I'm gonna go back for another one later. Sugar Beach is the candy shop on board. It's one of those Royal Caribbean signatures now. It does come at an additional cost, but if you have a sweet tooth, you may wanna head in and check it out. I know I certainly have spent my fair share of time in there. Now, as we continue along, you have Ben & Jerry's ice cream. Also coming at an additional cost, it is a Ben & Jerry's. So if you love Ben & Jerry's ice cream, whatever it is, you're gonna be able to find it here. It's absolutely delicious. And I love the idea that they have that ice cream parlor. Now you'll notice the cows up above, and in fact, it's right in front of one of the secret promenade rooms. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, but of course our advisors can guide you through that process as well. Now, as we continue along, you're gonna see another one of those breaks that I was talking about. There's actually large watertight doors that can close here. And as we continue along, what I'm always blown away by is the incredible amount of space. The volume of space that they've dedicated to this is something you don't see a lot of cruise lines do. A lot of them would try to pack in more rooms, but Royal really went for that guest experience here. 
So on one side, you have regalia, jewelry and watches. This is where you can get some of your high-end watches. They have a great partnership with Effie. You have Invicta watches in there, Tag Heuer, all of your favorites, once again, at duty-free pricing. And on the other side, they have a Michael Kors store. So they have a partnership with Michael Kors. Once again, fantastic items if you wanna take advantage of that. Now, as we continue along the promenade, the next stop is vintages. But before we get there, I wanted to point out this beautiful vintage car. You'll see you have teddy bears in there, all time favorite of the outgoing CEO with Royal Caribbean, Richard Fain. I just wanna thank him for all of the incredible work that he did throughout his entire career. In fact, he's been with Royal Caribbean basically since the start. He's helped shape it and he has done an incredible job and he loves vintage cars and teddy bears. So you're gonna find those on all of the different promenades. Now, Vintages was designed in collaboration with the Mondavi Family Vineyards. So in here, it's a wine bar. You can have fantastic wine tasting opportunities. It's one of those perks that you get if you're a past passenger at one of the higher levels at no additional cost. But of course, you can participate either way. Now they have a huge variety of wines in here for you to choose from. They do have a full bar as well. And the bartenders are very, very knowledgeable along with the sommeliers in here. So they can tell you based on your taste and what you're looking for exactly what you wanna try. Now inside here, you can see the beautiful upgrades with all of the furniture. Those really nice love seats over there. You've got tables for two and four. So it's a great social space as well. And then as we continue along to the other side, you can see the full bar wraps around in the shape of a U. You've got that wine closet back there. So they can take you in there when they're doing the wine tastings. You can see some samples gone. And this is the nice large bar where they're gonna do the wine tastings. They'll get it all set up for you. They'll explain it. They'll go through the entire process. So if you're a venophile or an aspiring one, you're sure to love it. I highly recommend you give it a shot. Directly across from Vintages, you're gonna find Solera Beauty. This is where you can get all kinds of different perfumes, beauty products, once again at duty-free prices. Every time I'm on a ship, I'll usually buy an item for my wife. So again, it saves me a few bucks and it's perfect for Christmas, birthdays, Valentine's Day, any of those types of holidays. Next up is the Ale and Anchor. Now, every Royal Caribbean ship on the promenade is going to have a pub. Who doesn't love a pub-style experience? So you can see you have all of this promenade seating. This is prime real estate when they're having different entertainment out here. Maybe it's a parade. Maybe they have a band going on. I love that you can be part of that social experience. It feels very much like a sidewalk cafe in that sense. That's what it's supposed to be. Now, as we head in, you can see the continuation of the pub decor. Of course, at the heart of it is gonna be a beautiful bar. It's a full bar. They have a large variety of whiskeys, which I really like but you can order just about anything you want. You take advantage of that beverage package if you purchased it, or you could take advantage of those Diamond, Diamond Plus, or Pinnacle drinks as well here. Now in the bar, you're gonna see several styles of seating. You have high top pub style seating, you've got bar style seating here, and then you're gonna have the low top tables as well. And you'll notice that in the corner, they have a bandstand area. So they're gonna have live music each and every single evening here. Sometimes it's a guitar player, a pianist, or they might even have two or three people singing and what I love about it is this place gets rocking. People sing along to their favorite songs. Usually you can make requests as well. And then you'll notice there's a television up there. It's a great place to catch the game. Directly across from the pub, you're gonna find Trend. This is where you can find more of that high-end jewelry, once again, at duty-free pricing and with Royal Caribbean's guarantees. Now you see the shopping desk here. If you're gonna buy high-end items in the areas that you're visiting or on board the ship, I definitely recommend stopping by and going over the guarantees with them. Royal Caribbean does a great job working with their vendors to make sure if there's an issue that they can correct those for you. Now, as we continue through, a lot of times they'll set up a full band over here. It just kind of depends on what they're doing. But one of the things that I noticed as I walked down, I was just on one of the Voyager class ships. It's definitely wider. It definitely opens up here. And you see more of that high top pub style seating. And then you're gonna have the market. Now the market is a shop where you can get different sundries. It's where you can get all kinds of different Royal Caribbean logo wear, and you could also get alcohol and tobacco. Now alcohol and tobacco have a ton of duties in their price. So you can oftentimes get it for sometimes up to half the price at home. Now just pay attention if you're flying home, you're gonna wanna check that so that you don't have a problem with it. They do have special packaging so that you can put that in there so it's not gonna break in your bag. 
Now across, you're gonna find Sorrento's Pizzeria. This is a place where you will see me over and over and over again. It's open late into the night. I've been known to have a few slices of pie, you know, later on after maybe visiting the nightclub, having a few drinks or so, and just having a great time, but it's open basically breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can have some fantastic choices here with pizza, and they do have a full bar as well. In the corner, you're gonna find a beverage station. Those are all complimentary. And then I love, once again, this extension of having the outside street-style dining. So you can grab your slice of pie, head on out, do a little bit of people watching, and enjoy your time on board the Independence. Now at the forward end of the promenade, you're gonna find the Star Lounge. Now in the entryway, there is the entrance to the library. Now on different ships, they've adapted it different spaces. It's become the Diamond Club on some, but I love that they still have a library here on board. It's a great quiet reading space. My wife also likes to sneak away to sew in there because there's some great light. Now in the Star Lounge itself, it's a dynamic entertainment zone. There's a stage at the far end. You've got a really nice dance floor. I've sang a lot of karaoke in there. I apologize for those who've heard it. But what's great about it is they can use it for just about anything, whether it's bingo, karaoke, trivia. It's also a great gathering place for groups before you head on out to explore the world. Now you're gonna have a ton of seating. It wraps all the way around the entire lounge. You've got the bar in the back corner, so they'll provide full bar service during each and every single event in there. And you're also gonna have the full sound booth where they can put on basically the equivalent of a full show. Now, one other secret tip is if you're looking to go to the front of the ship, to the helicopter pad, you can head out past the sound booth and you can head right on up there. That's a really quick entrance and you save the extra set of stairs there. But the Star Lounge is a great place to meet, to gather, but more than that, it's a great place to celebrate and have an incredible night on your cruise. Next up is Bolero's Nightclub. So this is kind of a lounge style experience where you can get the Latin music going. Everyone knows if you're dancing to Latin music, you're gonna be having so much fun want to be the flamenco, the tango, whatever it is, you can tear up this dance floor. Now over there, you're going to see the bandstand. They have a full band set up here. We absolutely love that they do that. It's a beautiful lounge and it had one of the most extensive renovations during that, where you can see all the beautiful new decor, the accent tiles there, and then of course the full bar with some of the best bartenders in the entire industry. Now probably one of the biggest renovation changes that they made was Playmakers. I love this space. You have the full bar behind me. You're gonna have a lot of fun. Of course, you're gonna have all of the screens in here. I wanna say there's about 50 to 100 screens. It's the perfect place to watch the big game, the NC2A tournament, or any other game out there. In fact, Taylor and I have twice been on board during the Olympics. That's been a lot of fun as well because you bring people together. Now you can see the bar style seating here. They have an incredible menu. The wings are out of this world. Now the food does come at an additional cost. It's upgraded and it's absolutely delicious. You've got booth style seating in the back. You've got the bar behind me. And on the other side, you also have the owner's box. So you can rent that out during events or just to hang out there if you'd like. It's just yours. You'll have dedicated servers. They also have an arcade over in the corner. And then we're gonna head on into the casino. Like all Royal Caribbean ships, they have a world-class casino here on board all of your favorite casino games, whether it's the multi-game digital ones, the brand new digital, the old fashioned slots, and my favorite, Wheel of Fortune. I always love getting a group of people together. We pool our money. We pull that slot over and over again, just for fun, why not? So you can see some of the table games here. They have blackjack, three card poker, roulette, and then wrapped all the way around the far side of the casino as well. You're gonna have the classics. You've got craps, ultimate Texas hold'em, you name it, they got it. They also have Ultimate Hold'em as well. I've been playing in a lot of tournaments over the years. Now, right in the middle, you're gonna find the casino bar. I did wanna point out this staircase. It actually heads directly up to the Royal Promenade so you can have quick and easy access. So you've got the bar right here, more of the casino games all the way around. And then once again, you have an enormous amount of table games on this side. Now, I did wanna point out that the Texas Hold'em is hand dealt. It's the way I prefer. And it's so much fun gathering together with others and having a great game. Now we're in my favorite restaurant here on board, Azumi, and my dude is still here rocking it. Saw you on Harmony the other day. You're looking, oh, maybe a little haggard. My bad. Well, this is a teppanyaki style restaurant and a sushi restaurant, combining two of my favorite food flavor profiles. So you can see that you have the teppanyaki tables all the way around. It's a phenomenal experience for families. Everybody loves fried rice. They've got different meat choices, vegetarian choices as well to choose from, but it's dinner and a show. The chefs are gonna put on a full show here. They're gonna be singing, have you rocking in your seats, and maybe even catching some shrimp in your mouth. I did that on my last cruise. But this is my happy spot right here, the sushi bar. This is where I come before dinner, sometimes after dinner, 
and then sometimes for a snack as well. I love the sushi here on board. They do an amazing job. That poached champagne lobster roll is out of this world, along with the spider roll, the rainbow roll, all the rolls. I'm just gonna roll on out of here after eating all of the sushi. So if you love that, you can take advantage of the ultimate dining package, or you can purchase a la carte. Now, for those of you who are old school Royal Caribbean fans, this used to be the top level of the nightclub. There was a stairway that went down and there was a nightclub down below. It's rooms now. So if you wanna get one of those inside cabins, you can pay homage to your days in the vault. On deck four outside, you're gonna have the classic promenade deck. Even the old ocean liners had one of these where you can go out for a nice walk with that fresh ocean air. They also put seats out here. My favorite place to be on a sea day is sitting out here with a book in my hand, looking out at those incredible ocean views. They also have shuffleboard and several other activities. I highly recommend that you stop by at least once. Now keep in mind, this is where you're probably gonna go for a muster station drill. When you get on board the ship, they have that 2.0 muster. It's a really cool concept where what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the app, watch the video, then you're gonna go to your muster station. You're gonna check in, they'll go over the life jacket. You head on out and enjoy your cruise. No more stopping everything for an hour on the ship while everybody does the drill together. I love that Royal Caribbean. Now you know I have not been on a Royal Caribbean ship if I haven't spent quite a bit of time in the schooner bar. This is a multi-use bar. So they got the piano right at the middle. They'll have sing-alongs every night. We've had so much fun over the years in here. It's nautical themed, of course, to tie into the schooners that were in the Caribbean hundreds and hundreds of years ago. There's even a little bit of hint of wood in here as well. You've got a full bar, incredible bartenders. I know I've mentioned it a few times, but it's the crew that really makes a ship go trivia, sing-along, whatever it is, you're gonna love the Schooner Bar. Now we're inside the massive multi-story Royal Theater. Now Royal Caribbean leads the entire industry in entertainment. I wanna give a huge shout out to Nick Weir. We were just on board the Odyssey with him. He takes so much pride and attention to detail for all of the different shows, paying tribute to all of those dancers, the actors, everybody from start to finish who's involved. Now, Royal Caribbean designs a lot of their shows. They also have Broadway shows on board, but you're gonna have entertainment every single night. They might bring on a comedian. We had an incredible juggler that made my daughter, my niece and nephew laugh out loud. In fact, he referred to us as the cackling family upstairs. We were having so much fun, but that's what it was all about. It was a kid's show, but you can come in here for that nightly entertainment, whether it's the full Broadway style show that they usually do on the formal nights, or it's one of the acts that comes in, be it a singer, a dancer, one of those special acrobatics. You're gonna love your time in here, and it is a massive space. It's all stadium style seating. I'm up here on the top right now. So this slopes down, and then all the way down below, you have a massive theater as well. So you can enter down on deck three or deck four. I did wanna point out that there's a full bar on either level. They will provide bar service before the show, but generally not during. So whatever it is that you're watching, enjoy and have a great time. So now we're in the main dining room and it is a magnificent space. This is where you'll have dinner each and every single evening. You can take advantage of the My Time Dining where you dine as you please between about five and nine o'clock or you can have the set dining. I personally prefer the set dining. You have the same waiters and waitresses every single day. You get to know them. They get to know you and create an incredible dining experience. Now dining on board a cruise ship is a wonderful thing because you can try everything. It's that place where maybe you wouldn't order on land because if you didn't like it, you may need to send it back. On a cruise ship, you can try lots of different things. In fact, some of my favorite foods I tried for the first time on a ship and found out that I love them. I've been cruising since I was a little kiddo. It's great for the families of all ages. Now, part of the big part of the Royal Caribbean experience is the dining experience. They have breakfast, lunch, and dinner on sea days in here, and then some days they're just gonna have dinner. So make sure you check out your cruise compass. You can also see that on the Royal Caribbean app. But as you look through the space, it is magnificent. You've got the three stories here. You can really see it with the grand posts there. You're gonna have the beautiful chandeliers, a magnificent chandelier up above, and you have tables for two, four, all the way up to 10. Now you've got that classic stairway right in the middle. And so many of my memories are about those waiters and waitresses that form those incredible relationships. They generally sing to you at least once or twice on the cruise. You'll see them all lined up around there doing the parade of nations, celebrating the diversity and bringing together an incredible experience. Now you see you've got a grand piano right there in the middle. They'll do that during the, uh, during the dinner time so you can have that experience. And then up above on the top is actually where they do the chef's table here on board. That's a tasting menu. It's several courses paired with wine. The chef's gonna come out and explain it to you. It's a really fantastic option. Now that does sell out quick. So my high recommendation is to either pre-book that or book it right when you get on board. 
Now you've got windows on all three levels, of course, so you can ask for a table near the window. You may wanna to talk to the maitre d' upon arrival for that. And then all spread throughout, you're gonna have plenty of choices for seating. Now, once again, if you're traveling in a larger group, you can coordinate the group dining so everybody can sit together. But if you want those classic steak, chicken, salmon, they're gonna have it for you every single day, but you can also step off of your comfort zone, try some new foods and be blown away. Now, as you go from the dining room to Studio B, I wanted to point out the Park West Art Gallery. So this is an experience. I love that you can come down and check out some of your favorite artists. You got Godard, I see Brito, Peter Max, Kincaid. There's a lot of different options here. Now you can go to one of the art auctions where you're gonna learn about it. It's an educational experience. They usually also have free champagne as well, but I have a lot of guests that'll come on board by the art duty free. Now, as we continue further in, there's a little bit of a transition zone, and then we're into the, the Focus Photo Gallery. Now, what they've done, which is awesome, is they've digitized this experience. Now, you can get your photo taken all throughout the ship on just about every single day from boarding to disembarkation. Now, that's always your choice. You don't have to do it, but a lot of people love to do that and pick out the best photos to have those cruise memories. So you're not watching through a lens, you're enjoying the moments and they're taking the photos. Now, all you do is you take your CPAS card, you're gonna swipe one of the machines, you can pick the photos you want, you can take all of them. They have different packages. They also are gonna have duty-free items for purchase. You've got GoPros, they've got GoPro 7 all the way through 10 here on sale. You're gonna have batteries and SD cards if you forgot that. Now, another very classic option on board is to have your photo taken in the professional studio. So that's right here. And what you're gonna find is you can come on in here and they're gonna set up a formal sitting for you. Now, oftentimes, especially as families grow older and you have teenagers and college kids, everybody tends to spread out. And I love the idea when everybody's together on a family vacation, you can capture those incredible memories here. Maybe the perfect option for a Christmas card photo. Now we're inside Studio B. With each iteration of ship, Royal Caribbean has doubled down on this venue and made it even bigger. When ice skating debuted on the Voyager of the Seas, everybody thought this was an incredible thing, and it's turned out to be. Believe it or not, Royal Caribbean is one of the largest employers of former Olympic ice skaters in the entire world. On each of their Voyager, Freedom, and Oasis class ships, they have an ice skating rink, so you can imagine putting on that incredible show takes a large cast. Now you can see a full production show. I was just on the Navigator of the Seas with my family for Thanksgiving. They had an incredible interaction with drones. They've really taken these shows to another level. And as the ice skating rinks have gotten bigger, the tricks can be taken to another level as well. So in the middle here, you see an ice skating rink. Not only does it have performance shows, and you're gonna wanna get those tickets as soon as you get on board or check with your sweet concierge, but you, they also can use it for free skate. In fact, the first time my daughter ever ice skated in her life was right here at this ice skating rink. So we love the idea that you could do that as a complimentary activity. You can enjoy the show. And now they also can put down a floor here. It's where they'll do a sock hop. They do the quest. You definitely wanna check that out, especially that if you're traveling in an adults only or the kiddos aren't there because it is an incredible adults only scavenger hunt. If you go, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. We're multiple time winners. I don't really do it anymore because it's not fair, but I love to watch and participate. Now this actually part of the seating can slide all the way back. This is where they'll do the setup and check out all the ice skates. I was so pumped the first time I got on board that they even had my size 15s. Now you have stadium style seating all the way around. And then just behind it, you have a full bar and bar seating as well. They've also put television screens up there so you can see what's going on closer down on the ice. You can see the chandeliers up there, the disco ball. This is an incredible theater in addition to being an ice skating rink. It's the entire width of the ship, so just keep in mind you can't go all the way through on deck three, but what a reason not to. This is a spectacular venue. It's delivered over and over for Royal, and I expect to see it on future classes of ships. Down on deck two, you'll find a large conference center. So there's four separate areas that can be combined to make larger conference rooms. They can accommodate just about any type of group at sea. We've done continuing education groups. We've done private groups. If you can think of it, we've probably done it over the last 40 years at Hard Travel. In fact, we started with meetings and incentive travel. That is at the core of what we do. Now keep in mind when you're ready to book your conference, you're gonna to wanna to get way ahead of it because these do fill up and the space gets reserved. More than that, you can get those best rates if you get it right when the deployment comes out. 
First off, thank you so much for making it all the way through the video and spending time with us. I'm sure you can see now why we know that the independence of the seas is an incredible opportunity for so many of our guests. Whether you're looking to go on for a short cruise, combine it for multiple, Par Travel is your one-stop shop for all cruising needs. When you're ready to book your next room or suite, make sure you reach out to Hard Travel. We know that we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get that hard travel signature service every step of the way.